Christ Church Oxford is a unique institution in that it is both a university college and a cathedral. There is no other institution in the world like that. The choir here is one of the most historic choirs in the country. Uh, it's been around since 1525. The reason the school is here is because Cardinal Wolsey founded a college which he wished to be the greatest university college in England. And one of the things that he wished to do was build a huge chapel. And for that chapel, uh, he needed choristers. At the foundation of the college, Christchurch, there would be a daily song service. And we still do that. The daily services in the cathedral are, uh, as it were, an immutable rhythm, really, a rhythm that's gone on for 500 years. So what the choir does is very much a part of the college life. My role as organist here is one that's been held by people for 500 years. And in some ways it's an awesome responsibility to be holding a job that has this continuous history. It's of course rather more than a tradition. Um, it's very much alive and working with children to produce a daily performance is not a job for someone who wants to live in the past. Singing means most to me since I've been here. It's literally just come into my heart and I've loved it since. Music is an integral part of the school. I mean the cathedral choristers predate the school by about two years and are the reason the school exists today. Okay, the morning service is finished, let's go in quietly. One of our aims through the Music Trust here is to enable boys to experience this wonderful education regardless of the means of their families. And so we offer scholarships of half fees, but also we're able to offer more financial remission to those families who really need extra support. We're looking for potential rather than necessarily great accomplishment. We need somebody who can smile. I, I ask myself the question, what will it be like spending 20 hours a week with this child? So we need someone with enthusiasm for music, someone perhaps with a twinkle in the eye, someone who loves to sing. A small Pavarotti is not the thing. When I sing, it feels really brilliant. It's difficult to explain. It's a very interesting process, the educative one that we use with the children. We've got children who are eight or nine standing next to other older boys who are, say, 12 or 13. And we teach them all together. But it is that mixture of age ranges that makes this education special. And they have to use, to the best of their abilities, the skills and talents they have to try to keep up. And invariably, they manage it. Being a chorister at CCS takes a lot of discipline and work. I'm in my penultimate year here. You definitely learn a lot from your older peers. One of the things that is so essential to singing is singing together. It's very much something that binds people together. We put together the best attributes everybody brings to the team and in putting that together, the whole thing is much greater than the sum of its parts. I'm Franklin. I'm Splendor. I'm Hugo. And we're all probationers. The probationers have a bespoke program. They train with the suborganist and with the organ scholars. They learn all the things they will need to equip them to be able to go and stand in the stalls. Being a probationer is good. It feels like we're really important and we're being trained to be the best of the best. Choristers know when they come here that they're going to spend a lot of time singing. So in that sense, the boarding experience is a particular thing and they have a lot of fun as well as all the work they do. Breath, the text. So probationers are not full choristers. We sleep from Monday to Friday and then go home. I sleep with my teddies to use as pillow sometimes, or if I'm cold, to snuggle up with. The fact that the choristers board at the school is really important. It means they operate as a team, it's like an extended family. One child will have another child's back, from a musical point of view, for example. In the boarding house they have a lot of events, they go to the cinema, they have a lot of fun hanging around with their friends. So in a sense being on site helps not only their academic and their musical work, but also their sense of fun. It absolutely feels like home to them. The beauty of it is that I can live in a nice tidy place with caring teachers and caring people all around me.
I think the confidence that boys get from their performing careers here is hugely important. Obviously a lot of boys who are choristers don't go on to musical careers, but they take the ability to stand up in a huge room full of people, um, they take that with them. I think there is a sense of pride the boys take in their work as choristers at Christchurch. It matters to them whether they've sung well. They want it to be good and they're, they're prepared to dig in and to contribute in order that what they do is of the highest possible standard. It just sounds magnificent and it satisfies me to hear the choir singing. I think music is a universal language of expressing emotion. You've got 500 years of work on your shoulders, like every time you get into your cassocks and surplices just before a service, you have to think, right, how am I going to make this better than last time? If there wasn't choristers, then there may as well not be the school. I think the children who started it off really made the school what it is today. I'm enormously privileged to work on a daily basis with choristers, with children, and their energy and enthusiasm is something that, that energises me. I can't think of anywhere else where there is quite so much music going on by such enthusiastic pupils. They really do lap up everything new that we do with them musically. The process of singing in this choir is emotional, um, intellectual, physical, all those three things. I frequently say to the children, don't forget to look at Tom Quad, look at the sky over the buildings, look at the architecture, look at the fan vaulting. It's a very beautiful place, and a beautiful place to be educated. Uh, seven years ago when I came to the school, I wanted the school to be a happy place and a kind place. I'm completely convinced that if people are happy, then they'll flourish and achieve more than if they aren't. I like to think that the way I work with the choir is absolutely in sympathy with the ethos of the school. It's important to me, this family atmosphere and, and, and the way we deal with each other. The boys do thrive in this environment. We work very carefully to ensure that every child fulfills their potential.